Let us gather together for prayer of joys and concerns. In life and in death, you bless us, O oh God. When trouble overwhelms us, you save us. When sorrow overtakes us, you comfort us. When death overcomes us, you overcome death and raise us to new life. When draw joys rise up, you share with us. For baby Richard's safe arrival and Sam's continued good health, for Amy and George becoming grandparents, we are so grateful. For John and his biological father speaking for the first time since he was three, we are grateful. For the best day of the summer coming in late October, we are joyful. Are there other joys to lift up this day? My daughter and Andrea's friends, Tina Robinett, was operated on last Monday. She is now cancer free, but she will ask for the treatments, but right now the nodes look clear and all the margins look clear. Oh, for Mark, Tina, we are so grateful that her surgery went well and that after a tough period, that Andrea has some good news as well. Yeah, yeah. we needed it. Absolutely. I want to say I'm grateful to Dave, <laughs> Dave um, because he's starting to tackle the rotted wood outside the handicap ramp door. Um, that's going to be a huge undertaking. So see him if you want to offer up in him. And to Peter for fixing the <laughs> fire alarm system downstairs so it stops annoying me. <laughs> um, yeah. For Dave and Peter and all the other folks who help, our fire alarm, which is returning to its original purpose of letting us know when there is a fire as opposed to just annoying the starch out of, out of all of us. And I would say it was a joy to have a spaghetti supper where we ran out of practically everything. <laughs> that you did such a great job and you have been sick. So we're grateful that you're in church even though the spaghetti supper seems like a million years ago. And I've already been in touch with Rob, the organizer, about next year's spaghetti supper, so I think we're gonna have more. <sighs> Excellent. Excellent, and perhaps a little less running around to people's various personal freezers being like, I think I have some brown bread in there somewhere. <laughs> Ed this morning, I think um, I designed a curriculum for this morning where they could run pretty much 70% of the time, which I think was in the Bible somewhere, let the little children run flat out. Grateful for successful penny sale. All right. For the success of the penny sale, we are so grateful. I know you were a little, uh, the Lions were a little apprehensive about doing it on their own, and it turned out okay? It did. Excellent. A lot of work, but a lot of people have. Excellent. Excellent. For all the good work that the Lions do. All right. For the joys that you bring to us, oh God, we give you thanks. When concerns rise up, oh God, you comfort us. We pray for a friend figuring out a way to pay her rent, for families in transition, for Buddy, a longtime resident of Brookline, and all those who support him as he copes with cancer. For John, John's newly discovered stepmom, who's been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, may her treatments bring her relief. For Barbara's daughters, grieving for their dad, who made it to his 80th birthday before passing away. For all those who will be traveling over the holidays, may they find a safe journey home and a safe journey back. Other concerns to lift up this day.
help put them together. Let us make sure that we can stay focused, not just on our paperwork, but on the needs of the children who need a loving family. Let us pray also for the people of Israel and Palestine. May they find a way forward together. For the burdens that you ease, O oh God, we give you thanks. You promise us joy everlasting, and even now, give us glad hope and glimpses of your realm, which is to come when Christ makes all things new. For calling us your children and bestowing upon us such great love, we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together, which is printed in your bulletin. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 